is Igor Ozhiganov making the Leafs next season? Well, that's a question that does need a little bit of context first, because if we take a look at it, Ozhiganov, who is a right-handed defenseman, mind you, is a player who definitely has a shot at being on the team. The only question is, is he able to beat out guys like Callie Rosen, or Borgman, or fellow right-handed defenseman Connor Carrick? Ozhiganov is a player who played in the KHL for a few years now. His career totals in the KHL are pretty good. 92 total points in 315 KHL games played, with 15 points in 57 playoff games. It's totally not bad. And playing for the CSKA Moscow last season, it was kind of a challenge for him because that team was just absolutely stacked. In the most previous KHL seasons, he did have a good affair, 20-point seasons, 16-point seasons. In 2016-17, he got 8 goals, 22 points, and 50 games played for the CSKA Moscow. But last season, in 17-18, with all the rumors of him going about going over to the NHL and with a stacked CSKA team, they just didn't give him all that much opportunity to succeed. 9 points in 42 KHL games in 17-18 for Ozhiganov. So him coming over to the Toronto Maple Leafs is kind of interesting, because he's not coming off of a brilliant performance in the KHL. In fact, he's coming off of a career low, with the exception of 2013-14. But Ozhiganov is now going to get an opportunity to play himself with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He signed a contract earlier in May, and now the 6'2", 207 right-handed defenseman is going to have a shot at cracking the lineup. But is he going to be able to do that? Oshiganov is a guy who plays a good offensive game. He's got a booming shot, quick vision, and he likes to hit a lot too, which has been criticized a little bit by Russian scouts and coaches because he does take a little bit of a risk every time he steps up to make a big hit. But Oshiganov is still a player who can compete. And we've seen it over the past few years in the KHL. Not necessarily the most recent year, because CSKA Moscow just had no reason to play him, considering all the debate on whether or not he would go over to the NHL, and the fact that they were already pretty stacked, they had no real reason to trust Ozhiganov with a top 4, top 2 role. But coming into the Maple Leafs, he might have a shot at being able to crack their top 6. Guys like Riley, Gardner, and Dermott have to be on the team. Hainsey and Zaitsev, they're obviously going to be on the team as well, but we still got Connor Carrick too. So Ozhiganov could step in to the lineup, fight himself off for a 6th, 7th man position, especially considering the fact that he's right-handed, that's absolutely brilliant and a need that the Leafs have. So, obviously, Ozhiganov comes in and checkmarks all the boxes that the Leafs could be willing to want right now. He's a guy who can definitely make an impact at the NHL level, considering the fact that he can power play and he can penalty kill. He's a guy who could be used all around, and he doesn't necessarily need to be given top two minutes in order to succeed at the NHL level. Just him stepping up and being out there on the ice would be good enough. Because coming over from the KHL, remember Nikita Zaitsev? Zaitsev had a few more points than Ozhiganov two years before they came over. Because Zaitsev, obviously, coming over to the Maple Leafs, Zaitsev had a pretty good season in the KHL. Ozhiganov didn't. So, this is kind of the contrast here, and we have to take a look at things a little bit differently, because these two players are coming off of two incredibly different seasons, stepping into the Leafs lineup. And personally, I think Ozhiganov deserves a chance in the lineup. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing him with Dermot on a third pairing. He's a guy who exhibits the skill necessary in order to stay in the NHL. And we've seen it with CSKA Moscow defenseman before, obviously Nikita Zaitsev. So, coming into the lineup, I really expect Ozhiganov to be at least given an opportunity. Soshnikov said that Babcock will teach Ozhiganov real hockey, so that's brilliant and obviously something that we could look forward to. But for now, Ozhiganov is just another Russian free agent signing that the Leafs have in their system, but he is a signing that I believe definitely deserves a chance. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for Plus Gaming, and bye. <laughs>